Well, good morning, guys. How are y'all today? Well, it's my last day. We're going home. I've uh, been packing up and getting all of uh, all of my stuff together. Just the usual packing. I'm trying to be quiet. So anyway, if we come over here. I can't wait to take this one. I can't wait to bring that home. It's going to be so much fun. Look, I even had to open it. See? I had I had to. I just had to. And then all of the uh, the micro center stuff here and like there. So anyway, I'm just trying to get the hotel packed and cleaned up. And then I will be back on my way back home. And when I get home, I have a bunch of videos to edit and to put up. So I hope you guys like these videos that we're going to put up. The Georgia trip was fun. It was a lot of fun. We had a good time. Uh, spent a lot of money. A lot of money. But we had a good time. So, all right, I'm going to get back to what I was doing. Just wanted to give you guys a what's up. It's pretty... See the cities and the buildings. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys be cool. What's up, guys? Welcome back. So, let's see here. Let's make sure we are recording. Okay, so we are recording. All right, so as you guys know, I went to Micro Center not too long ago and bought all of this stuff. Um, I ended up with three motherboards, two power supplies, um, I bought some water cooling things, um, they had a great deal on tubing, so I bought some tubing, and then of course, you know, the fittings, man, the fittings there are just, it's great because you're like, well, I don't know if that looks right, um, I know the measurement's right and stuff, but I would just, I'd rather just see it in person. And that's the beauty about micro centers. You can just go there and look at the actual item. If you want to see it, open the box, take a look. Well, anyway, I got some uh, really cool 90 degree fittings. It's uh, like a 90 degree offset and stuff, which is going to come in huge, especially when I bailed the Titan rig. This was kind of cool. It's a 90 degree acrylic block. Can you see it? Yeah, I thought that was cool. Like a 90 degree acrylic, you can adjoin two ends that way. So I was like, oh, I got to have that. And then I bought a brand new five way. Uh, let's see here. This is just a compression fitting, nothing special. And then the 90 degree offsets that I was talking to y'all about. And then I got one of these. These right here are about 50 bucks. You'll pay $50 for just one of these. And I got it for about $8 from them. So I was like, heck yeah. Gotta have that. We got an M.2 drive um, heat sink. Only paid $3 for it. This is a vertical GPU bracket that goes on the inside of the motherboard. Instead of it holding the graphics card from the outside where you can see it, it holds it from the inside. And I paid six bucks for that. That's not too bad. Now, y'all know how I like to build computers and how I like to do like off the wall kind of things. Motherboard stands, like all different sizes. And it comes with the screws and the nuts. So that way you can fasten them from both ends. And I was like, ooh, I got to have that. It was a nice little uh, kit. I only paid like three dollars for it something like that let's go into something a little bit cooler this this is kind of cool this is rgb and it's by lee and lee and it was an open uh, open product so somebody decided that they wanted to open it and mess with it so i bought it for like next to nothing but we'll we'll be uh we'll be using this here soon um, we'll find a use for it. Hopefully it's pretty and not broke. That was the only thing I couldn't do was test it. 
I could just only buy it as is, you know, which that sucks sometimes. You guys may notice the ever glowing plasma light over here off to your left. Here, I'll turn the camera a little. There you go. It's Goku, and he's doing a power, like a power up ball, and he's fixing to throw it at you. Um, I thought that, that was an awesome lamp. I was like, ooh, I got to have that. I was like, how cool would that be, you know? I was like, that's that's actually kind of cool. Comes with the light here, so he, it shines up on him. Um, but yeah, thought that it would be cool to have. I only paid about 40 bucks for it, which that's not too, too terribly bad. I've always wanted one of these. Um, I've always wanted one of these. And I've never really want to, well, pay the price for them. But this one was actually on sale. They got it marked for 20 bucks. What it is, it's a mini wireless keyboard. So this thing, I mean, it looks just like that. It's that big. This is your touchpad for your mouse. And then you would just use it like that to type out whatever you need to type out. Um, so, yeah, it's just a little keyboard. Um, goes to your computer. It's USB and stuff. But, um, yeah wanted that thought that would be kind of cool to play with so I bought it now SSDs man and hard drives or drives whatever you want to call them um, you can never have enough of those so I bought an M.2 drive right here uh, I paid was it 60 bucks for it um, then I have another SSD this is a 128 gig I paid I think thirty dollars for it something like that and then I bought a crucial I've never owned one of these before but I hear good things about them a BX 500 this is a 240 gig SSD and I think I paid I think I paid 40 bucks for it or so um, usually what the good thing about micro center is that if sometimes they'll have deals so since I bought all three of these um, they gave me like 10% off of the total thing or something like that. I don't remember exactly what the deal is, but the more you buy, the more you can save, um, which I'm not still sure how that works. So the new graphics cards, the new graphics cards require a special power pin to them. Um, your normal power supply that you buy, which is like these over here, them two, those are your normal power supplies. They don't come with this proprietary connector that you need to run the 3080s and so on. So they actually had one there and I bought it just in case um, when I get my 3080 I'll be able to run power to it because you need this special little plug to do it with. So that's what I got for that. Okay now this, this I got no break on. I paid the full $80 for it. Can you see the price tag? $79.99. I paid the full 80 bucks for this. And I've been wanting this for a long time. And we're going to do a build. The, the, the upcoming build that we have um, coming up here shortly will actually feature this item in it. And it's a reservoir. which it's a bits power reservoir it looks pretty badass doesn't it nice acrylic the cool part is is you can buy like multiple of these and you can stick them together you can chain them all together and block them all together um, or you can just do a single one like that which I think you guys have seen this before and you know like online and stuff I mean that's where I saw it but I had to have it so I bought one eighty dollars for this thing man Whew. it's expensive piece of acrylic ain't it I'd say so all right moving on let's talk a little bit about the hardware that I bought hardware um, to me is basically based on what it is and the price for it so I got great deals on a lot of this stuff um, for instance like this it's a B450 ITX. See that? ITX. Real little. I've never owned an ITX motherboard before. 
especially an ASRock. So I bought this little mini motherboard, which I thought would be kind of cool because I want to do a little build here coming up. I don't know when, when I get around to it, but I thought having a little motherboard would be fun to play with. Um, it holds Ryzen, so I could put a Ryzen 5 in it. I have a Ryzen, uh, yeah, I have a Ryzen 5. It's sitting right there. I know it's out of the frame, but it's it's sitting above y'all. Um, that would go in this. I think it's a second series, 2000s. I don't know, I'd have to look at it. But anyway, yeah, ASRock Fatality. Never owned one of these before, so I don't really buy ASRock motherboards. They, <laughs> They have a tendency not to work or break all the time. So I usually do not recommend to anybody to buy an ASRock board. Um, buy an ASUS or an Aorus or a Gigabyte or something like that. You know, don't stay away from ASRock. Um, you got a fifth, I'd say you got more than a 50-50 shot that it won't work. So just, just stay away from them. Um, gaming mics. I want it to... Well, hold on. Let me start with this. I'm a big fan of Red Dragon. Red Dragon makes some pretty good stuff. Um, so they had this microphone there. And I was like, oh, it's just a, that's a cool little USB microphone. Um, I was reading the specs on the back. And it's equivalent to my $120 microphone that I bought. So I was like, wow, uh, I, I'm sure they've cut corners in some areas. Um, you know, what do you expect? It's a, it's a, what was it, 30 bucks? It was 30 bucks for it, $29.99. You know, it's a $30 mic, so I don't expect it to do wonders, but it will be fun to do a review on and to make a video on it, because you guys know me, each one of these items here is a video that I can make reviewing it or a build or whatever it is that I choose to do with them. Let's move on to the more exciting things. I paid a hundred, actually let me refer to that. My wife paid $127 for this, for me. It's an H470 Aorus Pro ATX motherboard. Now, the thing with this one is that somebody came into the store they opened the box and they took out the, the manual and like the stickers and a couple of the other things. So they couldn't sell it no more as a new board. So I bought it. Check that out, man. Look, it comes with its own IO shield. See that? It's a beautiful motherboard. Oh yeah badass looking it's gonna look good in a build you know it's gonna look good in our new build coming up which I bought a case too which I'll do a review on that case here soon uh, another day or so I'll get around to it I know it says Tough Gaming X570 Plus Motherboard, alright, but what you actually have in this case or in this box, I know it says Tough there, it is a Tough branded motherboard, but it's actually a B450 Plus Gaming ATX Motherboard, so no wonder why they were selling this for 60 bucks. I was like, oh shit, I gotta buy that. That's 60 bucks? Oh yes, I'll buy that. Oh yeah. Uh, nope. Come to find out, it's actually a B450 Plus that's in here. So that's what I ended up with. Another Ryzen board. Yay. Ryzen. Just what we wanted, right? More Ryzen stuff. Even though I'm, all, I'm basically Intel. Every ding other computer I've built or owned has been Intel um, except for the UFO engine that was Ryzen 
Um, I did get some sleeve extensions. These were um, on sale for like 12 bucks. So let's see here. I wonder if I can pull them out. So I mean, really, I mean, shit. I know I got plenty of green and black. Trust me. I I have more than enough green and black sleeve extension cables uh, to last me a couple of builds. But these were such a great deal that you know I had to get it. So I did. Got some sleeve extension cables. And I see here, I showed you guys basically everything. I showed you the fittings and all the little knickknack stuff I bought. I showed you the RGB one. I showed you all the motherboards, the bits, power. Yeah, I bought some tubing. Um, usually you'll pay about 20 plus dollars a box, each one of these boxes. Well, anyway, I paid 20 for both boxes. And um, all because somebody opened it. And it's it's clear acrylic tubing water cooling tubing and y'all know me I like to build a lot of computers that are water cooled so we will be needing these tubes for the upcoming build uh, 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 which is going to be a lot of fun can't wait till that to come out and of course I know them the power supplies I paid let's hear what was it I paid hundred and thirty dollars for each of them 130 for that one and 130 so $260 wrapped up in just those two right there um, But I love them. I absolutely stand by that power supply. That is a great power supply uh, It'll handle Basically anything you can throw at it um, It'll handle 1080s and 2060s and 2080s and stuff. I don't know about the newer ones the 3080s and stuff uh, probably as long as you have that rubber that wire adapter and you're not over juicing it on watts and stuff but they're the tough power grand thermal tank rgb 750 watt series power supplies are fully modular that right there is the best that you can get other than going um platinum they're gold rated so you know you can't beat that um all in all there was about 800 dollars worth of items that were bought and paid for in here including the lamp and then the motherboard case i'm sorry mother motherboard case ha huh, that's funny and then last but not least we bought that the view 37 which i will be doing a review on real soon um, i'm just trying to get everything more as you can see there's a bag there and styrofoam and so it's because everything's kind of a mess right now i just got home back from vacation so i have to you know I'll have to organize everything. Let me get the camera straight. So I'll I'll have to organize everything. But anyway, I hope you guys liked it. These were the items that I bought from um, Micro Center. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like. New builds coming up. I know y'all going to like it.